When it comes to diabetes mellitus, it is important to watch blood sugar levels and to adopt a healthy lifestyle and diet. But did you know that there is more to food than just calories? The glycemic index is a rating system for foods containing carbohydrates. Foods with a higher GI rating break down fast and may cause a rapid increase in blood glucose. Medium or low GI foods are broken down more slowly, causing a more gradual rise in blood glucose, which can help your blood sugar levels as part of a healthy, balanced diet. To help you better understand the GI rating and manage your diet, here are some quick examples. High carbohydrate foods can also have a big difference in their GI. Rice noodles and wholemeal spaghetti have a low GI, which can be an alternative to rice and white or wholemeal bread. Fruits are a healthy choice, but some have a high GI. The GI rating of watermelon and pineapple can be quite high. You could try to eat these in moderation and perhaps try other fruits such as apples and pears. Don't underestimate the GI of vegetables. Potatoes have a high GI due to their high starch content. You could reduce and expand more on other veggies such as cauliflower, cucumbers and broccoli. To deal with cereals, it is worth noting that cornflakes and instant oatmeal get digested relatively fast compared to rolled oats and oat bran. Legumes can be life-changing, with chickpeas, soybeans, lentils and kidney beans known to be low GI foods. Excellent options to better manage your diet. Do keep in mind that your diet isn't all about GI ratings, and all these are recommended options to consider in planning a long-term, balanced diet. Please do speak with your GP if you need advice or a referral to a dietitian. Scan this QR code for more information on the GI ratings of different foods. Thank you.